Greg Norman, one of the greatest drivers of the golf ball ever, and he had a peculiar right foot motion. Now, I followed Greg, obviously, being from Australia, he was my idol growing up, and I happened to see him play a lot of golf in my early years, and I tried to copy a lot of the things that he did. And I also spoke to him about this when I was 12 years old, and I watched what he did up close, and it really filtered into my swing. So let me talk about why this right foot did what it did when he swung. So the reaction of the right foot really relates again to the force and the pressure that is working down this foot when we swing. So it's a real post. A lot of people talk about the left leg as a post. All the when we see this right foot action, it's really got to do with the force staying down here for as long as we can. And it's an increased force, it really is. Because we wanna be able to use that right leg to drive through the shot as we slot it and get ready to start to release the club. So the way the foot moves, it's not a passive move, it's a real pressure. And the reason that happens is by pushing quite firmly down this foot or keeping the pressure down this foot, this ankle, it really keeps us in the right spot to be able to hit the ball because our body stays behind it and we can learn to release. Now the reason his foot went behind, and I showed this on one of my early YouTube videos where I showed a lot of other players doing it also besides myself. Hogan did it. Gary Player did it, Billy Casper did it, Bernard Langer did it to an extent, Young Tiger did it, um, Jimmy Demerit, there's a bunch of them that did this move. And it's a real not try to do, it's an actual reaction to what the pivot is doing. So because there was so much force staying down this right foot, which helps us load down into the ground, that enables our pivot to really turn off the force that's staying down. So the more I'm pushing down, the harder I can then turn this. And if you think about the direction his right foot went, that's the same direction the pivot is going. So the pressure staying in the right leg, the pivot pulling, it eventually pulls that right foot out of the force that it is trying to maintain in the ground. So let me hit one and I'll show you what I mean. So at address here, right before I take it away, you'll see this in Norman's swing also, you'll see a distinct push down into the ground before he takes the club away. So that's something that I incorporated into my swing. I learned early on that it's really hard to create a force out of nothing. So if I can push some pressure down and probably feel it a little bit more in my right foot, right ankle, rather than my left. As I swing, my body will sense that there is a force there and it'll wanna to add to it rather than give it up. And again, because I'm going down much harder, I'm pressuring down to be able to stay in the shot, my pivot can then pull quite aggressively against that and my foot goes in the direction that the pivot pulls it. Nice and comfy, nice and balanced. Build that pressure in. Similar footwork. And I'm not trying to do it, it's a real reaction to the forces I've built through the swing and it eventually gives out and it enables me also to turn beyond the ball really well with my pivot so I keep moving my whole body up to the finish of the swing.